Hello students, let us continue with chapter 8, quadrilaterals. We will take a look, the, uh, look at the solved example number 5 on page 144. We need to prove that the bisectors of angles of a parallelogram form a rectangle. So what we have done is we have drawn a parallelogram ABCD in which AB is parallel to CD as well as they equal and BC is parallel to AD as well as they are equal because they form a parallelogram. Now what we need to prove is that the bisector of angles of a parallelogram form uh, a rectangle, correct? So what we are doing is we are bisecting all the angles. How? I am taking AB bisects angle A here, BP bisects angle B, CR bisects angle C and DR bisects angle D. All the points are mentioned. So ABCD is my parallelogram in which I have these respective bisectors of angles A, B, C and D. Now what I need to prove is that quadrilateral formed by these angle bisectors forms a rectangle that is PQRS forms a rectangle. Now in order to prove something as a rectangle, we need to prove that at least one angle is 90 degrees as well as the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So let us see how we are going to go ahead and prove this. I will say proof. So first of all, if you notice your parallel lines. A, B and C, D. You have your, sorry, A, B and C, D. A, C, A, D here is the transversal, correct? Therefore, what do I have? I have this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal, correct? But we have bisectors here correct? We have bisectors here meeting at point Q. That means half of this angle, half of angle A plus half of angle D is going to be half of 180 degrees which is 90 degrees. Therefore, what can I say? That this angle here is 90 degrees, uh, this angle plus this angle is 90 degrees, correct? QAD and QA, QDA. So, let us write this down then I will come back over here. I have angle, uh, sorry, I will say DC is parallel to AB. Since quadrilateral AB CD is a parallelogram. Therefore, angle CDA plus angle BAD is equal to 90 degrees. Interior angles CDA and BAD. Interior angles on same side of transversal. Sorry, this would be 180 degrees. Same side of transversal. What is my transversal? AD. Correct. Now I am going to rewrite this as half of CDA plus half of BAD. Therefore, half of CDA plus half of angle BAD is equal to half of 180 degrees because we are dividing throughout by 2. What is the half of angle CDA? It is angle QDA. So, angle QDA plus half of BAD, half of BAD is angle QAD, so angle QAD and let us write our reasons, uh, sorry, is equal to half of 180 degrees is 90 degrees, so I will say 90 degrees and I will say that QD or DQ bisects D, angle D and AQ bisects angle A. I will mark this statement as 1. Now if you notice your triangle, just come back to this triangle QAD. What do we have? So let me just highlight this triangle a little more. 
this triangle of mine i have angle qda plus angle daq plus angle aqd is equal to 180 degrees why because sum of angles of triangles is 180 degrees but we have just proved that qda plus qad that means this angle plus this angle is 90 degrees therefore i will have this angle as 180 minus 90 degrees which is 90 degrees so let's write this down in triangle qad angle qda plus angle qad plus angle dqa is equal to 180 degrees and i'll say sum of angles of triangle right but here we have 90 degrees plus angle dqa is equal to 180 degrees and i'll say from 1 therefore angle dqa is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees therefore angle dqa is equal to 90 degrees let's mark this as 2 or rather let's wait now this angle is 90 degrees over here therefore if i have p and r over here look at this diagram take reference from this diagram therefore angle pqr is 90 degrees why because we just proved that this angle is 90 degrees this is the vertically opposite angle therefore angle pqr is 90 degrees therefore angle pqr or i'll say but angle pqr is equal to angle dqa i'll say vertically opposite angles therefore angle pqr is equal to 90 degrees let us mark this as we have to let us mark this as to so now we have proved that this one angle is equal to 90 degrees let us go ahead and prove this angle here angle p as 90 degrees so we are going to do it in the similar fashion but now we are going to take parallel lines ad and bc so let me read out the diagram i have parallel lines da and b so redrawing this and i have the bisectors here now da is parallel to bc ad is parallel to bc and ab is the transversal therefore what do i have angle a plus angle b is equal to 180 degrees why because they form interior angles on the same side of the transversal but half therefore half of angle a and half uh, of angle b is going to be 100 and, uh, 180 degrees divided by 2 because we are taking halves but we have ap here correct ap is the bisector of angle a and bp is the bisector of angle b therefore half of ba pab sorry half of angle dab plus half of angle cba is equal to half of 180 degrees therefore this angle here that is pab and angle pba is equal to half of 180 degrees which is 90 degrees let us write this down mm. we have ad parallel to bc therefore angle dac plus angle cba is equal to 180 degrees and i'll say interior angles on same side of transversal ab therefore half of angle dac 
plus half of angle CBA is equal to half of 180 degrees. But half of angle DAC is what? P A, uh, sorry, DAB. CB, DAB. But half of angle DAB is angle PAB plus half of angle CBA is angle PBA is equal to 90 degrees. And let us write our reason that AP bisects angle A and BP bisects angle B and I will mark this statement as 3. Now, let us take a look at this triangle angle PAB. In triangle PAB, I have this angle plus this angle is equal to 90 degrees and this angle, angle P plus angle PAB plus angle PBA is equal to 180 degrees because they are the sum of interior angles of a triangle. So, therefore, this angle is going to be 180 degrees minus the sum of this angles which is 90 degrees. So, this angle would be 180 minus 90 which is 90 degrees. So, let us write this down. Now, in triangle PAB, angle P plus angle PAB plus angle PBA is equal to 180 degrees. I will say sum of angles of triangle. But here PAB plus PBA is equal to 90 degrees. So, I will say angle P plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees and I will say from 3. What am I taking from question 3 uh, from statement 3? PAB plus PBA is equal to 90 degrees over here. Therefore, angle P is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. Therefore, angle P is equal to 90 degrees. I will mark this as 4. So, let us mark this over here that this angle is also 90 degrees. Similarly, you can prove that angle R over here is 90 degrees. Just the way you prove that angle APB or angle P is 90 degrees. In the same fashion, you are going to take your triangle DQC and prove, uh, sorry, DRC and prove that angle R is equal to 90 degrees. And just like you prove that angle Q over here is 90 degrees, you can prove that angle S is equal to 90 degrees. So, similarly, angle R is equal to 90 degrees using let us mark these sections now so that we get reference. So, uh, let us say I call this section 1. This entire section as correct and this entire section over here is section 2. Right. So, we can pro prove that angle R is equal to 90 degrees using section 2 and similarly angle S uh, is equal to 90 degrees using section 1. And in fact, I think instead of writing angle P, we will write the entire angle because angle P could also be this and especially you will get confused over here for angle S. So, let us just rewrite this. Uh, we have angle APS, uh, APB. So, I will say angle APB. APB. And let us rewrite for angle R as well. 
I'll take my angle R as angle DRS. And here for angle S, I'm going to take angle PR, uh, PSR. Let's mark this as 5. So, what do we get? First of all, using 4, 2 and 5. What do I get? That in quadrilateral PQRS, each angle is 90 degrees. So, I'll say in quadrilateral PQRS, angle P or, or each angle is 90 degrees. I'll say from 2, 4 and 5. So, now what we have done is that we have proved that one angle is equal to 90 degrees. In fact, we have proved that each angle is 90 degrees. But is it sufficient to call quadrilateral PQRS as a, uh, as a rectangle? Uh, not really because we have not really proved that angle uh, your quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram. So, what can we do in order to prove that quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram? That is, we will prove that the pair of opposite angles are equal. So, I am just rewriting here to prove that pair of opposite angles are equal. Correct? So, now if you notice we have proved that each angle here is 90 degrees in PQRS. Therefore, what do you have? You have angle PQR is equal to PSR which is 90 degrees. Similarly, angle QPS is equal to angle QRS which is 90 degrees. So, what we are getting that the pair of opposite angles are equal. Therefore, your quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram. Now, we have proved that each ang angle is 90 degrees as well as uh, angle, uh, quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram. Therefore, we can say that quadrilateral PQRS is a rectangle. So, let us just write this down. We will mark this statement as 6. Now, in quadrilateral PQRS, angle P is equal to angle R is equal to 90 degrees and angle Q is equal to angle S which is equal to 90 degrees and both these I will say from 6. Therefore, pair of or I can say therefore quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram because a pair of opposite angles are equal. Both the pair of opposite angles are equal. And I will mark this as 7. From 6 and 7, we can say hence proved. So, I do not have much space. So, I will just say hence proved from 6 and 7. So, another very lengthy sum solved example of your textbooks. We will take a look at the other sections in the next videos. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.